Hi Clement, thanks for joining us. Now you recently released a report on Best World, which is the only direct selling company listed on the Singapore Exchange. Could you tell us more about the company and its uh, recent share price performance? Yeah, uh, well, Best World saw a good run in share price of about 47% last month after the group uh, released a strong set of uh, results its third quarter on the second week of uh, November. So briefly, um, Best World is a distributor which sells uh, premium skincare, um, personal care, nutritional as well as uh, wellness products. This, this actually, uh, I mean the company targets the middle and upper income consumers and products ultimately are formulated under Best World's uh, own brand. So for example, it's a uh, dietary supplement range, um, Advance and skincare range, Doctor's Secret. And manufacturing of these products are outsourced to uh, contract manufacturers in the US, uh, South Korea, New Zealand and Taiwan. So basically the, the group sells uh, via three methods, uh, namely direct selling, export and wholesale. And the company has built an operation, operational presence across uh, 10 countries in, across the region and is supported by a large uh, sales force of close to about 400,000 members. So, um, for just uh, nine months this year, earnings have uh, soared about 219% year on year to uh, 6.4 million, exceeding, already exceeding uh, FY14's record 4.1 million. Um, and this was achieved mainly from operational leverage uh, due to rec revenue growth of about 20% to uh, 61 million. And uh, I mean, driven by strong contribution from Taiwan and, and China. Um, this was mainly because of uh, product demand, greater product demand from increased customer acceptance. Yeah, you mentioned that the counter jumped close to 50% uh, in the month of November. Now, does the stock have uh, more space to run? Could you give us uh, some colour about what's in store for the company in uh, particular positive catalyst? Yeah, okay. Um, well, according to management, both uh, growth countries, Taiwan and China, has uh, seen some good traction for uh, its products. So let's talk about uh, Taiwan first. One of the group's uh, top selling products in, in the country is the Doctor Secret skincare range. Um, the company's strategy to focus on skincare in the market over the past four to five years uh, has now bore fruit and has seen uh, the Doctor Secret brand reach a high level of recognition in the market as well as uh, greater penetration across uh, Taiwan itself. So management believes that uh, this success may also be attributed to the good fit of the direct selling model uh, to the business culture in Taiwan, where, uh, I mean, I guess uh, relationships play a significant role in sales. And um, so we move on to uh, China, its uh, next growth market. Well, Best World is currently awaiting for its uh, direct selling license um, in the country. And according to management, it would be expected sometime between uh, March 2016 and March 2017. And well, already the company has uh, gained entry into this market since 2014 itself via two distribution channels, uh, namely export and the wholesale segments. Um, well, management guides that products in China grew at a steady pace uh, since then and saw, saw a tipping point in fourth quarter last year on greater customer acceptance. Um, also during the same period, the company reached the final stage of its uh, license application process, which uh, led to some agents stocking up on, on their inventory to anticipate the license approval in, in China. And well, management foresees that if they do manage to get the direct selling license, um, they, they reckon that there'll be a rise in profitability of the company stemming from the shift in sales mix to direct sales, uh, as well as further operational leverage. Hence, well, I mean, positive outlook in both its uh, key growth markets. Uh, Best World's share price has a high chance of uh, moving in tandem with its earnings. So how about uh, valuations now? Uh, given it's run so far, is it still cheap? Okay, as at the end of uh, third quarter, Best World had net cash of about 40 million. And uh, I mean, this translates to about 18 cents per share about 50% of its uh, current market cap. And this would be ultimately also underpinned by strong free cash flow generation of close to about 9 million in FY14. 
and also I mean next based on uh, FY14's payout ratio of 43.5% using the company's trailing 12 month profit uh, dividend yield currently stands at a respectable 4.8% and in terms of, of uh, valuations ultimately um, the stock is currently priced at 9 times uh, trailing PE and 4.3 times on an ex cash basis so this is relatively low compared to a larger peers average of 14.2 times. Thank you, Carmen. Okay.